Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> Feels really good to be back. Um, I think I had a much needed break from everything, and especially like the way I was feeling. And um, I feel like I'm ready to be back in my happy place. So um, while I've been gone, I had all my notifications off. I just wanted a total break from YouTube. So it's just two days ago, I went back into my um, YouTube studio and I saw all the wonderful comments. And guys, I was, I was shocked. Like, you know, the comments were so amazing and so nice and people asking me to come back. I was like, wow, like, you know, um, so I was very overwhelmed. So I wasn't answering because I wasn't getting um, the messages. I deliberately just took myself completely away from everything. So um, I want to say thank you so much to all of you. It meant, it just meant everything to me. And then I got a few really nice messages on Instagram as well. So um, like I said, I'm like so overwhelmed. So to everybody who left a comment, after you know i put up my notice i was taking a break i want to thank you guys so much it means everything so um today's video i figured as i'm coming back i'm just going to talk about the stuff that i've been loving and some stuff that you know not so much and some stuff that I'm, I'm on the fence about um i was very naughty <laughs> on my break buying makeup especially during the sephora sale i bought stuff in store i bought stuff out store i was i did the most just picking up so i don't have everything here because i just couldn't it was like too much stuff and I, I don't want this video to be too long i don't want my first video back to be yakking and yakking and going on so let's jump right into it and i want to talk quickly about what i've been using um for my sunscreen and you guys know i've been obsessed with getting rid of my um hyperpigmentation it's pretty much all gone i'm gonna do a get ready with me soon you guys are gonna see my skin i think it's such a big improvement from what it was so i've been using these three products from super goop and i've got a few um suggestions about um some other sunscreen products that are cheaper i haven't gotten around to it maybe after i finish these but i've been loving these so I use this first. This is like the serum. This is the daily um, dose. This is like a serum. So I use this first and I'm going to rush through this because I don't want, like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. And then I go in with the daily moisturizer and this is SPF 40. And what I love about it, um, it's, they call it the unscreen sunscreen and it really is me and these nails, girl. Hmm. All of a sudden. I want long nails now. So see, it looks white. And when you put it on, it just disappears into the skin. And this is what I love about it. It has no white cast at all. Cause most of the sunscreens, sunscreens that I've purchased, the white, the white, um, foam that was left was just too much. Just drove me nuts. So I'll moisturize with that. And then I'll go in with the, this is like the fine, this is like the, the mineral sunscreen, the unseen sunscreen, SPF 40. Yes, I stack up on my sunscreen and I'll go in with this and then I'll put whatever makeup that I have, I'll put it on. Let me just move these over here. All right, so quickly from my eyes. Um, as you guys know, I started um, doing lash extensions and since I've started my lash exten extensions, the drama with these lashes, I love the way they look, <laughs> but the drama with these lashes, cleaning them and stuff, I haven't been using much eyeshadow anymore, I know. And so I've just literally been obsessed with my Danessa Myricks Color Fix in shade nine. I bought two, I bought three more as a backup because I literally, it's so easy. And I think because I have lashes, I can get away with just putting minimal on my eye because lashes just give your eyes like a pop. So I would literally just go in with this, putting on my putting on put it on my eye, and I carry on with my day. I don't do much eyeshadow anymore because, like I said, the drama with trying to clean my lashes, trying to keep them clean, and I get away with it because they just always look full, in my opinion. And so I keep it that way. And then for the eyes, what I've been doing, I've been using to highlight my um, brow bone. I've been using this Bobbi Brown stick. 
you know me, I'm blind as a bat. I'm gonna list everything in the description box though. But this is what it looks like. It's like super pretty. Let me just put it here so you guys can see. And it's like, a, of course it's gold. You guys know I'm obsessed with gold. And I just put it on my brow bone and I put some on my nose like I'm wearing today. And that that's, I use that for my, um for my brow bone. And then for my inner tear doubt to make my eyes pop that I'm wearing today, I've been I re I've been rediscovering a lot of my makeup too. I rediscovered my Mac this loose powder in gold and bronze. And what I love about this powder so much, like I'm obsessed with it right now. I mean, finally, milled has been like used so much; it's been like overused. But this is what you this this reminds me of like confection sugar. It literally just melts. It's so beautiful. And it's like no fuss, no muss. It just, it just sort of like, it just melts. Look how pretty that is. It's so gorgeous. And I've had this forever. Cause this, remember this was a limited edition and then they brought it back and everybody was like so, so happy they brought it back. And what I love about it as well and sometimes I'll take a huge fluffy brush and I'll just put it on my cheek, but it stays because a lot of, because I was using the Jaclyn Hill, her, the little, the powder in the little pot. I can't think of the name right now and I'm not going to try. I think it's the mega something powder. After a while, it'll fade because I love putting a pop of color in my tear duct. This never fades. Like I would have this on all day. And I would come back and it would be right here. It never fades. And this is what I love about it. It's so pretty. Like if you own this, bring it out again. All right. So it got all over my phone. As usual, I've been into my complexion products now. And I've been obsessed with tinted moisturizers. And not tinted moisturizers because I want to no makeup makeup look because after I use a tinted moisturizer I go full on with concealer like I put on my concealer a lot of concealer and what I've also decided to do like comments that are negative it is what it is this is how people are and you know I wasn't feeling like oh my god I was feeling so like I was feeling bullied or anything like that I was just annoyed I was just like oh, I'm over this crap and that's why I was like, let me just take a break. So negative comments to the left. Anywho, where was I? So like I said, I've been into tinted moisturizers and not for the no makeup makeup look, I've been slabbing it on, my concealer on. But the one that I've been obsessed with the most out of all three that I'm going to talk about today is my NARS. This is the, oh, my eyes. <clears throat> The NARS Radiant, I get my glasses <laughs> so I can get this right. The Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, I have it in the shade Polynesia. Now Polynesia has, I didn't see it on Sephora's website because I was going to get a backup. They discontinue this, I think, but I think it's been replaced with Granada. So if you're NC50 in MAC around, or, you know, um, Macau and NARS like me, and you and you want a tinted moisturizer, I, I wholly and solely recommend this moisturizer. And to think, I've had this moisturizer now about a year and a half. I used it one time, and I don't know why I never used it again. And it just kept popping up on my Instagram page. It kept popping up on TikTok. Yes, your girl's still on TikTok. Love TikTok. And I decided to pull it out again. And guys, oh my God. If you do not own this tinted moisturizer run out and get it. It's a little pricey. I think it's $45 on Sephora or NARS. It's so pretty. The only thing though, I don't like the shades that they have. I think they could be about maybe 12 to 16 shades. I'm not sure. This is described as a red undertone. This is what it looks like, right? But to me, when I put it on personally, it doesn't really look red on me. It pulls more neutral on, on my skin tone when I put it on. So I think I'm able to like get away with it. And then of course, you can fix a lot of things with, with concealer. But this right here, I literally have been wearing this every single day that I come up because I'm still um, working online. 
I put this on every day and I come online. This, oh my God, this is so good. And if you guys own it, I think you know what I mean. But if you don't own this, buy it. The other tinted moisturizer I've been obsessed with is the Elf Camo Cream. This is so good. And this is less than 20 bucks. I think this is less than 15 bucks. I have this in the shade Deep 540 and which is neutral. The only thing about this though, I wish it was a little bit more golden. I purchased this online from Ulta, but when I looked at the other shades, I couldn't, I didn't see any that I think the undertones would have suited me according to the description. I would probably have to go in store and swatch this for myself. But this right here put a lot of high end, um, tinted moisturizer in their place. This is so good. I don't know. And I knew nothing about this until I was like told about this. I didn't know this existed. Purchased it, and I am so happy with this. This is good. The other tinted moisturizer I've been obsessed with, surprisingly, again, I've been obsessed with, is my La Mer um, tinted moisturizer. Hate the color, but what I love, I have it in deep, I think it's deep 50 or something, 52. The deeper shade, I think they only have like eight shades. It's priced, it's like 80 something dollars. What I love about this, it adjusts to my skin as the day go on, because it looks weird on my skin. Like when I put it, it has like a weird undertone to me. It's almost like kind of like peach. Look at this undertone and it looks a little light. See that undertone? To me, it's kind of weird. But as the day go on, it adjusts to my skin tone, just like my Sisley foundation. That's a very strong smell, but it, it's good. Like when you wear this, when you look at yourself, like after... A couple hours oh your skin looks so beautiful it's really good the color range sucks so if you ever want to splurge and buy something from La Mer it's very light lasts a long time it doesn't fade it doesn't crease it's really really good it's well made the formula is fantastic the color range just sucks but like I said this definitely adjusts to my skin tone at least that's what I personally feel so th that's it for my three um no 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 I'm forgetting one more thing. Now, what I've been loving again to is my MAC Face and Body. Now, they had a promotion for this. And it says, I don't know if this was reformulated because this one says MAC Studio Radiance. I don't think the other one said that. So I picked this up. Oh, my God. I think I picked it up in, what's the shade? C something. Glasses again. Okay, this is in C8, right? But this right here, huh, this has been fantastic as well. Hardly has any coverage, and I think I feel a little bit more confident because a lot of my hyperpigmentation is gone. But that being said, even if you do, you can still use this and use it with like a heavier concealer. It looks beautiful on the skin. I totally recommend it, recommend this. I got this when you could have gotten like $10 off. They had like a promotion or something, and I picked it up. It's so good. Oh. I can't keep swatching everything, but I want you guys to um, to see. It's so pretty. It looks a little light when, when I put it on, but it isn't. And it just looks, it, it gives your skin a soft, um, illuminated, beautiful look. It's so good. And it plays nicely with concealer, with cream contour powders and everything. Because like I said, it's not a minimal makeup look for me. I go in with everything else. I just love the feel of the tinted um, moisturizer on my skin. Now, continuing on, I've been obsessed with my um, the Glow Lust from Auric. And... Oh, I can't see my shade, but uh, I've been using this quite a bit, but how I've been using, I haven't been like putting it over my entire face because I don't know if you guys remember, I did a review on this. It has some coverage to it. I love just putting it on my cheekbone in the center of my face and like on my forehead I'm with like my max stippling brush. And then I'll go over with whatever, whether it's my NARS moisturizer or the e.l.f. or whatever. And I think it looks fantastic. And I love the formula of this. I've been obsessed with this as well. Other foundation I've been obsessed with is my Tom Ford foundation more than ever. I mean, I'm, I've been obsessed with it. I have a backup, thank God. 
but this is like my going out weekend because most weekends because like when i was married like a lot of the weekends i would be at home now you know since because um gabe is with his dad on the weekends i've been going out a lot more and this is like my going out foundation the um you know you guys know what it's called <laughs> I have it in um, 10.5 amber, right? It's the shade on the Illuminate Foundation. It's $150. But I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today. It's just always has my face looking so beat to the gods. Every time I've worn this foundation, when I've been anywhere where I've, I've taken my mask off, people have always complimented my skin, asked me what foundation I'm wearing. And the bomb thing about this foundation, tell me if you own this foundation, if you've experienced that as well. It performs well with the mask. It does not come off. It doesn't come off with the mask. It stays in place with the mask. I went to Atlantic City last weekend and I was there all day. You know, you can't take your mask off because we were in the casino and I had the mask on. And when, when we got back in the car, hours and hours later, and I took my mask off and I looked at my face, I was stunned. It looked amazing. I had like little, like a little dent here and something here but everything was thin in place and it looked beautiful so this foundation freaking expensive but mm, it definitely does its thing the other foundation i've been obsessed with like i said to you guys have been naughty is the kvd apple foundation i ended up with three <laughs> look I've, I've, i told you guys i've been very naughty i ended up with three originally i had 78 then I got 76, which is the perfect um, 76. Where are you? 70, 76. 76, I think, is my perfect shade because it has like the right amount of yellow that I want. So I got 76. How pretty. Oh, God, I can't swatch everything. I don't want this to be too long. But look look at the beautiful yellow undertone in 76. So if you're my skin tones and you still haven't purchased this, get 76. I think it's a better match. Um, it's a better match for me than 78. But I still use 78. I've used 78, but um, I love 76. I think it's such a beautiful shade for me. Let me turn down my ring light a little bit. And then I got 74. <laughs> And the reason I got 74 is because how I use it, I use this to highlight as my concealer. So if I can get it open. So this is what 74, beautiful yellow undertone, but as you can see, a little light. So I'll take a little bit and I didn't bring them out, but I bought some Sephora brushes during the sale. And I got, it's not a concealer brush, but I use it as that. And I would just take it and I would just put it under my eye, pat it out. A little bit goes a very long way. You own this foundation, you know. And then I'll go over the rest of my face with 76 and it looks amazing my eyes look on the right look nice and bright so yeah i overdid it with this <laughs> keeping on with complexion products i don't know what happened this was a happy accident i've been obsessed again with my fenty concealers absolutely obsessed and this is how it happened i've always owned 380 right which is more to me of a neutral it has some yellow but to me, it's a little bit more neutral and a little lighter than what I would like. And I was in Sephora when I was shopping during the sale again. And I don't know why I decided to pick up. I was like, because I was like the 380 I had before I had it for so long. I didn't use it. I said, let me pick it up. I'm so blind. I picked up 390 instead. So when I came home and I, I said, let me try it. I was like, why does it look so nice and yellow? And I looked, I was like, oh, this is 390. So this is the shade I should have gotten from the jump. Let me put it next to 380. Oh, I love this beautiful golden yellow shade. And I forgot how good this is, guys. I'm wearing it under my eyes today. Oh my God. It's so good. It's so creamy and rich and full coverage. I'm obsessed. I already got myself a backup. I love this and I love 390 so much. So now I haven't used my Hourglass and I haven't used my Benefit and I haven't used my Tarte. I've just been obsessed with these, with this Fenty, the Fenty concealers again. Like, I don't know what happened. I'm just obsessed. All right. Keeping with complexion products. I have so much stuff here. Let's talk about blushes. I've been obsessed with my LYS blushes. 
I have all the blushes. But the one I'm mostly obsessed with is Inspire, the orange terracotta uh, shade. I'm wearing it today. It's absolutely gorgina. Very beautiful. And so I have... I should be ashamed of myself. So how many are there? I think there's seven. However, how much of the amount is, your girl have all of them. I finally... Just kept buying them. I was like, what the hell? And the other shade that I absolutely love, oh, I'm so blind. I probably have to go, it's the shade Confident. It's like a beautiful, um, oh, this may be it. This is Confident. No, this is Self Love. Self Love is absolutely stunning as well. It's like a pink spice color. Yeah, this has to be it. Yeah. How gorgeous is this, guys? Oh, this is so good. And if you're my complexion, don't be afraid to use this. Look, I don't mean to flip you guys off, but look at that. Look at this. Oh, what a gorgeous shade. It looks it looks stunning on guys. Stunning. And um, these blushes, in my opinion, these are the best um, formulas on the market right now. I don't care. I think that's exactly what they are. They are so good. And I'm all over the place before, but before I continue with my complexion, I'm so excited to be back that I, before I continue with my loving all the complexion products, I forgot to mention for the eyes, I've been obsessed again with my MAC Paint Pots. I have four of them that are brand spanking new because, you know, they expanded the line. They have color now. I have this black one, which I'm using for my eyeliner today. It stays in place. It doesn't budge. It's so good. I'm gonna try to list the names in the description box. And I've been also obsessed with this orange one. Look how pretty this is, guys. Isn't it pretty? And I would just use it like the way I use my Danessa Myricks um, color fix. How pretty is that? And I would just put it on my lid and just go about my day. I don't use it as a base or anything. I just use it for actual like color on my lid. And then I got this beautiful um, chocolate brown one. Isn't this pretty? And I, like I said, I've been using all of them like the color fix. This one I, I haven't really used yet. But it's like a dual chrome sort of shade. Very pretty. This would look really nice maybe under like one of my um, Tom Ford quads. But yeah, I've been loving these paint pots again. They stay in place, they don't move. I think that's their purpose anyway. Okay, so continuing on with complexion products. I bought this Patrick Ta, his bronze and contour duo. Now, this is this is one that I've been on the fence with. I bought the deepest shade, of course. Um, I don't know if you guys purchased it. Um, I'm not a... I'm not really feeling the cream part of it. I still use my Danessa Myricks over this. The powder, I don't mind. I do like it. But um, for me, the thing with this, I mean, I know it's supposed to be gray. I mean, he's a makeup artist. Contours really are supposed to be gray. It's just supposed to be a shadow. To me, on my skin tone, it's a little too gray. But, you know, I have to do the most with it. And, like, make sure I use a really warm blusher and a lot of highlighter when I use this. So like, I'm still on the fence with it, but I know for sure the cream, I don't really like the formulation of the cream. I didn't really look at a lot of reviews. I'm not sure what other people are saying, but of course I got the new Fenty um, Bronze and Powder Contour Powder Ribbon Quality Thick Mint. I love this so much. She got this so right because Coco, I mean, Mocha, is it Mocha? I always get the mix up. The whatever one that has the mammy name in it, Coco Mammy, or M Mocha Mommy was just, that was incredible. That was just red. That was like a, a hot red blush. So I never reached for that. And Coco Naughty was always a little too uh, more on the light side for my complexion. This is absolutely perfect. I know you guys, I know you guys purchased this. This is so good. I am wearing it today. I think it looks fabulous. I love it, but I keep it open I never close it for some reason I have a hard time opening it I don't know if it's just this one or all the packaging is like this and continue on with powder I've rediscovered my Lancome absolute powder I have it in almond absolute almond right and 
I'm wearing it as my under eye powder today. I This is how I use it. It's fantastic. Look at my under eye. It looks like it's been airbrushed. This powder is so beautiful. And I remember there was a lot of hype around this powder when Jaclyn Hill spoke about it. And she's the reason I purchased it. I purchased it. Um, you can't, it has some sparkles. You can't really see it. If you, when you, if you swatch it on your hand, like I'm doing right now. So this is what it looks like. Swatch this, the almond shade. And if you look very closely, like under a light, you'll see like tiny little flecks. And I think that's what makes it look so like really pretty under eye. And I've been obsessed with this guys. And if you're looking for a really pretty under eye powder, I've had this for like two years, I'm pretty sure. And I've been, like I said, I've been trying to rediscover and bring out, like shop my own stash. And I was like, why haven't I been using this powder? And I've been obsessed with it for my under eye. This and my Fenty powder, I go back and forth. Bring it under eye today. Oh, it's so good. This is a beautiful powder. Another powder I want to talk about, but I'm on the fence about this powder, it's the Gucci powder. I always wanted this powder. I got this powder. I think Sephora were missing a few shades. Anyway, I got this in the shade 10. Now, I don't know what I was expecting from this powder. I tried using it with a brush. I use it with a sponge because I was using under eye because it's, it's light. See, it's light. But it really is to me, in my opinion, I don't think this is a setting powder. I think this is more of a finishing powder. It doesn't really have a lot of coverage. It's very almost sheer, in my opinion. So, but I, I like my under eye. I want to see like the coverage of the powder under eye. So for me, that's why I don't think it works that well for me for what I want it for. I mean, it's a pretty powder and everything. I just don't for under eye, I'm kind of like on the fence. I like more coverage under, although I don't have a lot of dark circles anymore. I just like the way my makeup looks when I have more coverage um, under my eye. The other, the other powder that I've been enjoying is the Dior powder. I have this in the shade uh, 6N Neutral. I bought this because of Vicky J. I saw her talk about it. I bought it. And I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful. Look at that. And this is also very sheer though. So sometimes when I use my, um, I'm filming, it's Mother's Day and everybody's calling me. That's why I keep looking down. I'll answer them later. So see, it doesn't have a lot of coverage. It reminds me of the, that Laura Mercier powder. I don't remember the name of the powder. It's very sheer, but for some reason, when I put it on, I don't know if you guys can see it. It doesn't really show up that much. And it is definitely is neutral. I like the way it looks on, on my face. It's not heavy. It gives it like a nice, sort of like a pretty soft finish. So I've, I'm, I've totally been loving this as well. Also been loving this blush palette from Viseart. They had a 40% off sale. I've always wanted their blush palette. Oh, I don't remember the name of this one. These blushes are so pigmented. Like you, you barely tap and you have product. Look at that. I barely rubbed my hand in there and look at this. Jesus Lord, they're pig, but oh my, it's like, it's so good. Look at these shades. Oh my goodness. I mean, Viseart, they make great shadows. Great. I mean, and the blushes. The blushes are like no different. They are fantastic. Then another product I've been obsessed with, I've been obsessed with so many products, guys. I couldn't even bring like half of them out. I've been obsessed again with my Givenchy highlighter in um, the Terracotta Skin in the City highlighter. I remember this when this launched and I think it was a limited edition highlighter or something. And I have so many highlighters. It was just sitting in the drawer. And I pulled it out the other day and I was like, why haven't I been wearing this highlighter? It's so pretty. It's so nice and golden. It's huge. And I reached for it again. I was like, why haven't, and it has like a huge mirror. I was like, why haven't I been using it? And, um, I got cut off. I'm not sure why, but I think I was talking about this Givenchy Terracotta's um, Sun in the City highlighter, right? <laughs> I think that's what I was talking about. Anyway, I absolutely love this. It, 
so beautiful. And um, I just want to talk about a few lip products that I've been... Um, no, I want to talk about it. Um, I've been on the fence about it. Um, I thought I was recording, so I've already swatched, swatched it. The Jaclyn Hill Liquid Lipsticks. Um, the only negative thing I would say about it, especially as a woman of color, I feel like most of the nude shades, the undertone is just too pink. I prefer more of maybe a light peach or maybe like a neutral undertone. For my skin tone, the, the undertones are like, they're super pink, guys. Like, it's pink, as you can see. Let me show you guys. So, I do love the formula, though, because what I like about it is, like, when you wear it, and, like, a few hours have passed, maybe five, six hours, it still has, like, like, when you do that, you see, it's, a lot of it is, like, really pink. You can still feel like a tackiness to it. At least for me, that's what I've observed. I can still feel like it has like a tackiness about it that I like. I like my liquid lipsticks to have like a tackiness to it. I don't like it like too dry. So I've been loving those. Well, I don't know if I've been, I've been loving the formula. I wish the undertones were a little bit more neutral, especially, you know, seeing that, you know, she, I mean, women of color will buy it. And I've been loving these, um, the MAC Powder Kiss Liquid Lips a lot. I love the formula of these. It's very light. It dries down sort of like a powder, like, but not too matte. It stays on your lips. It's very pretty. Um, I'm so freaking blind. One of my favorite shades is this shade right here. I'm gonna have everything listed because right now your girl's on the struggle bus with her eyes. Let's put this here. This is a beautiful shade, I think. It's like a terracotta sort of mild orange sort of color. I have no sunlight. I haven't filmed in so long. I'm trying to adjust my ring light and do all this stuff. So yeah, I love the formula of these. Let me get, let me know if you guys own any of them. It's like, they're good. They're really, they're really, really pretty and I love them. All right, guys, so this is gonna wrap it up because I think I covered everything before I got cut off. And again, like I said, I'm so happy and grateful to be back. Um, I have a new attitude when I come on here. Not everybody's gonna, you know, like my videos. You know, the, the nasty comments will slip in there at some point or whatever, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna continue doing what I'm doing. I love makeup. And I appreciate, guys, I appreciate you guys so, so much. All the kind comments. Like, I, literally, I can't get over how kind those comments were and how much you guys were saying you appreciate my videos and stuff. It meant so much to me because, I mean, although I don't do a lot of editing and all that fancy stuff, it's a lot for me to film and to edit and to upload. So I appreciate you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.